Kitu? Kitu? See that's how people say kitu. Au vipi DJ Baisa? And I do this is not a familiar face. Uh, can you grab that microphone tafadhali? Uh, before we get into the interview I want you to say to the people where you're from. Okay. I'm DJ Baisa from Pangani. From Pangani? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So normally like DJ squeeze ni kawa na kwa gonna specialize on a particular genre. Kama ni Afro pop, kama ni rock, kama ni nini, wao specialize. Mimi cheza zote. Ama wao ni freestyle, ka zote. very on DJ talk. <laughs> Ndio hiyo. Safi kabisa. You can see why your friends ama tu ni the Nati Dreads tu. Kabisa. <laughs> Kuna conversation tute, tutaingilia after this interview. Mr. Ndilima? Yes sir. Karibu sana. Okay, Mr. Kinze. Yeah, yeah, the king of Kinze. The king of Kinze. Yeah, yes sir. <laughs> yeah, nakwambia tunaenda kitui leo leo. Kitui? <laughs> Eh unaanza ruku tembea no basi ni hapa tu karibu ni hapa tu karibu simbali sana yeah. say karibu sana kwa circuit this Nachukundu. is the first time here yeah, that, but your career time. si sasa hizi imeanza actually ulianza way back when in 2010 ah yeah way back mm. eh hey. can you tell us your, your journey because uh, it wasn't easy it, it has not been easy yeah um th- from 2010 that's when i did a song that um, introduced me to the to to the media like i can say but before that um i started with secular music i was you a rapper with secular before. music yeah okay. as a rapper before because back then while, while i was at school the the music that was on top in kenya it was, was the rap. Well, yeah what was the, what was the rap it for the secular guys and even the gospel music wasn't big given um that big platform even in churches uh, the the new the new kind of gospel that we are doing today mm. i think it was uh, facing a lot of rebellion so the guys that we could look up to uh back then sasa ni wao wengine like so, uh, can you remember who who you were looking up to way back when uh, i like i used to like isa so much isa? um nameless is one of my favorite even to date is a is, is a living legend nameless the, um wako wale wale yeah wale my better than we too yeah i also uh, then then now the new breed of gospel music came and i started looking up to guys like rafton bovi yeah yeah But even getting into the music industry wasn't that easy. Uh, after high school kwanza ukaenda ukakuwa a waiter. Uh, first of all I know kuna mzee ana water and he wants to be inspired. Yeah. Uh, me in high school I schooled for three years. Okay. I did school for <laughs> four years. Mwaso in form 1 and form 2 nilikuwa na kaom sana. At some point I did even dropped out because there was no enough money to keep me at school. But um, after four, after the results, I was the top uh, student in our class. Mm. So on leaving high school, I started working. I, I came to Nairobi with the mind that I want to pursue music, mm. and at the same time, uh, work and progress my life and uh, my family back at home. Yeah. So um, I started working as a waiter, <laughs> uh, being paid a hundred in a day. Mm-hmm. Um, later. I moved from working as a as a waiter I started working at a petrol station. Mm. Now when I joined petrol station that when I saved some money I went to college and um, and at uh, this time uh, when you're in college that's when you went back to music now. Now, now when I, well, first uh. first after uh, starting uh, working at petrol petro station priority was the family first. The family first. Yeah. So after family then I was to father your to, education to further my education. Then, then while that, at college uh, now music. The music now. Yeah. Yeah. Then this jump from a uh, secular to gospel. And was it because of all the things that uh, you had seen in your life during that time? Uh, um, uh, why did you decide to jump to gospel after that well first i got born again at uh, while at form two okay so even when i uh, was starting music even in your rap career <laughs> yeah in my rap career i was like uh, uh i want to do songs that are conscious you know i want mm. to do music that uh, got message yeah. and uh, you know make my name make a name for myself and uh, you know progress in life mm. um but the reason was because you see uh The Bible says uh, where your heart is eh? mm. so there is your treasure. Mm. So a lot of content that we were feeding on as far as music is concerned was secular. So it, it, it definitely you can love it yeah. and uh, your heart in and two up. Mm. So I had just I had done like um two songs yeah. and then I Can you remember that? <laughs> 
Ah, man, but they used to... <laughs> <laughs> they used to be... Work. I remember the one year, sasa yenye, ya kwanza ilikuwa inaitua Peter. Mm-hmm. Inikuwa na imba about story ya um, mse ya li grow up um, uko kwa kijiji kuingia tao. Mina kuambia. <laughs> <laughs> At least two lines. I, 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 I can't recall the lines of Peter, but I can uh, 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 recall the chorus. Okay. That was actually my first. Mazetu metoka mbali. God is in Beneza. Peter, pole, sana, na, 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 na. I can't remember. <laughs> then I did Mchumba. Uh-huh. Mtumba was about getting a good girl, you know, get a wife and uh, move on with life. Mm. Then we did the video of Mtumba. Now in the process of working on the video, that when I met with uh, one pastor, and it was Pastor Mugabe Moku. Mm. He used to do Jesus Night at uh, Nairobi Cinema back then. And it was one of the, um, like the big events of back then. Mm. So Pasi introduced me to Jesus Night and he, he gave me platform and he started mentoring me um, into, I mean, using your talent and using heart mm. to to preach and to serve God. To serve so God. Uh, uh, I, I, after your video, I believe, come on, okay, we, with the standards are back then, yeah. eh? maybe you can talk Yeah, but sasa, I took it over, then I, I left everything and I... But uh, there have been a few influential pastors in your life. Kuna mwingine watasia? Uh, right now, I, be, I fellowship at Believers Work of Faith. Uh-huh. Uh, we are at Tasia, uh-huh. and my pastor is uh, Pastor Tom Wacholi. Is that when you came up uh, with uh, the umbrella, Kuna Hope? Uh, no, Kuna Hope. Uh, w- th- this, this thing is so long. Eh? <laughs> after, uh, after I worked with Pastor Mugambi for quite some time, still uh-huh. at the petrol station. Eh? Yeah. It got to a uh, point now uh-huh. in 2010 when I released Kinze Cha Yesu. Kinze. Yeah, Kinze means That's when dance. you became the king of Kinze. Yeah, that's when I became the king of Kinze. <laughs> um, so I started getting invites to go and sing there, sing there and there. And then now I believe like uh, now the anointing of the Lord uh, already came in me and I could see him ziki konakiti, you know. So it got to a point whereby I felt like um, being at the petrol station is not helping me so much. I'd better uh, follow and pursue my passion. Mm. So around uh, 2012 then I resigned from uh, working station. at the petrol station. Mm-hmm. And then I joined Mbuvi, the Kwata mm. Yeah. So Mbuvi uh, from 2012 to even today. He has mm. been my mentor, and then we have been working with him on, on a couple of uh, projects, mentorship, uh, and uh, outreach, a lot of stuff. Mm. Then um, working with him, you see, like, you have to grow because you can't, you can't keep doing the uh, same things uh, mm. and expect different uh, results. Yeah. So at, uh, I think that was 20, 2015, mm. I take a look to myself and decided like, I, I want to see myself in the next 10 years uh, where I want to be. And uh, then I had to, to draw up uh, my life and what I want to do. Then I said, I want to set a family I want to separate my fan base because the Kamba, the, the Kamba type of music gave me a lot of love at following in the Kamba community yeah. and even beyond. There are guys who also like uh, the, Kamba the energy music, of the, the music. Energy. Yeah. Okay. Then I also did the song that just played, Sasani Official. Uh-huh. And the, I have another big song in Aitwa Kinyuriro. Kinyuriro. Yeah. So this gave me also a lot of love and fan base in the Amban Contemporary. So I said, I want to separate the two. Mm. And then I said, now, because uh, uh, the gift is like the steering. So what are you carrying in your car? Mm. Then now that's how uh, Kuna Hope uh, was born. Uh, that's how Kuna Hope was born, yeah? Yeah, it's not, now Kuna Hope now is... But this plan that uh, you said you wanted to start a family, which happened in 2017, congratulations. Thank you. Then uh, Kuna Hope happened. This initiative, can, yeah. you, can you tell us uh, as in how it helps uh, the youth, um, the umbrella itself? The umbrella itself. Uh, uh, with Kuna Hope, there are, there are like um, three products yeah. um, which are designed to cater for specific um, functions. One is the open counter. That's general. Like when I'm here, 
I, I also am doing the helper encounter because I'm a product of uh, of myself. Mm -hmm. So I like encouraging uh, people, the, the youth, the, the young generation, every time I have an opportunity, wherever I go to church, wherever I go to school, uh, wherever I go on radio, wherever I'm given a chance to speak, I speak hope. Mm -hmm. Then uh, there is um, my green my life, which uh, entails more on um, environment. The environment. Because um, if, if we want to progress as, as a nation, and I believe agriculture is one of the pillars of our e yeah. e economy. So we ha it, 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 it's not a one-man show. It's not about the president or the governor or the MP. It's about Everybody us. has a responsibility to ensure that we are taking good care of environment. environment yeah. And like with that, um, <coughs> last year, in the process now of rebranding and separating the fan base, I did a camp album, and in that camp album, uh, actually there's a song for environment. It's known as Tukavande. Tukavande. Yeah. Uh, let me guess. Uh, Tukapande. Tukavande. Yeah, Twende Tukapande. Ah, All right. Tukimi, mi na tuki kamba ase. Mi mukali mi. Tukavande. Yeah. So that is now my green, my life, and then now there is the. The last but not least is known as Inspire Mtoi. Inspire Mtoi is a kind of ministry that is tailor made to cater for the young generation. Guys uh, between um, five years to around 13, mm. especially in primary schools and maybe even those in uh, children's home. You see, uh, and if I quote, uh, last year when the exams were starting, mm. Uh, in class eight and even from four, yeah. there was a, a lot of news that um, several girls were pregnant. Mm. You know, um, what makes you move out of your purpose is is, is that lack of hope, is uh, that uh, lack of vision. The Bible says that train up a child when he is young, and when he grows up, he mm. will never go away from that way. Mm. Then, like, uh, why should we wait as gospel ministers, as gospel musicians? We go to high school when mm. uh, these guys are already fighting drugs and other issues of life. Mm. Um, that is way, uh, why, uh, right now if I, I, if I ask you, do you remember a song that you used to sing while at Sunday school? Sunday school? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Do you remember a song you used to sing while in Form 1? Form 1? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's easier to remember what you sang while in Sunday school, uh. true? than what you sang when in Form 1. Okay, uh, in defense, the rhymes were much easier then. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Uh, uh, the things you learn when, when you're you were younger, young, you, remember you grow with them. Uh. You grow with them and they shape you. So it's about laying the foundation. It's about stirring their passion and inspire them to the greatness that God created in them because everybody Everybody, no matter who, mm. whether you're blind, whether you're lame, no matter where you come from, God creates you with a certain with a purpose. purpose. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, uh, thank you for that. Uh was it a word? Can we call it a word, DJ Baisa? Uh, you have an uh, offering basket, if it's a word. Chesa chini, Mr. Dilima. Chesa chini, chesa chini. Now, uh, there's a question. Yes. By the way, Baisa, Santi sana kwa kukamu na dreadlocks. Santi kwa ku... Unajua, ngekamu kwa umenyo ingi kwa ishu. We had a question earlier today. Yes. And the people back at home, uh, you still have an opportunity to answer on Facebook. Uh, that's on uh, Y254, I'm at the East Circuit. Um, hmm. High school children, high school kids, to make of that conversation just now. Yeah. Apparently, it's okay they can go with dreadlocks to, to school, to high school. Yeah. What do you think about that? Um, what I'll say is, eh? it's about time, because time is money. So when we go to high school, I'll say that time is knowledge. Okay. Uh, the dreadlocks, the taking your time as you take care of them as you do whatever and all that stuff as for me i'll say that um do things that do not consume your time if it's comping your hair comp it and move on if if if, 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 if why, why are you having the dreadlocks that's the, an, another thing is it's not even mm. it's not even um god actually is more is more moved on to why why are you having them mm. yeah that's not an answer. You didn't say yes or no. You just asked why are they having So them. for me, Nimenyoa, so uh, I think my, the, uh, my, the hand size of my head. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> hey, Mr. Ndilimo, you took a dish at Now, what about you, DJ Vice? What do you think? I think it's better to have a thing now. Mm. Like, I mean, it's weak to your day. Mm. It's weak to your day. Masomo, what do you think? Yeah. So, Basi, what's up with you? Yeah, like, you know, you can get a bill to the party of Pesas, you can get a salon, you can get a bill. No, 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 actually, this is actually the logic. It's actually cheaper and less time consuming that, uh, than any other hairdo. Because uh, as long as you can use your foot and your treatment in the ear, as regularly, <laughs> as long as it's guys? clean, you wash it on a daily basis. L let's look at this. Eh? No, for real. Okay, let's look at this. Kunyole <laughs> wana 50 bob, come on, he's a student. Uh. <laughs> Na kusongwa dread na uh, sombili. Uh, Which is easy. Kusongo na songwa once. once. Your 50 bob ni, ni kila, kila week. <laughs> uh -huh. If we're really talking about aye, money. Aye, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Tumeatana na hiyo. Guys, you still have the opportunity. <laughs> but, but Do you yeah, agree so with the, Mr. Ndilimo? My hands, are, my hands are is on the air. So me, I'll go. Guys, just go get your clean, neat, cut, look good, yeah. look fly. You know. I but it's on. still open for debate. As I said, <laughs> we're going to tell you the votes at the end of the show. <laughs> okay. You still have an opportunity to answer on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Your latest song, we're finding a Princess Farida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about it before we play it. Um, my newest song with Fri uh, Princess Farida is in Aitwa Rafiki Wakweli. And the Rafiki Wakweli is Jesus, actually. So this song is now, this, as I said earlier, that last year, uh, after uh, after uh, last year, I mean, I I did a, a camp album that's catering for those guys, uh, the, the, the the audience and the fans that love the the Kamba Dilemma. Now mm. this year, I've begun on working on the urban contemporary brand, mm. and now Rafiki Wakweli is the first release. Mm. Yeah. Rafiki Wakweli. Yeah. Asante sana kwa kuileta. We're about to premiere it here on the East Circuit. I but did. before that, what one is kupata happy? Uh, on Facebook, I am Mr. Ndilima. Mm. On Instagram, I am Mr. Ndilima. On Twitter, it's uh, at Mr. Ndilima Music. Mm. Then, uh, ile muhimu zaidi, go to my YouTube channel. And subscribe, Mr. subscribe, Dilima subscribe. TV. Subscribe. subscribe. Mm. Each and every day we are throwing content there, mm. music that is inspiring. Mm. Uh, interview kama hii. Kuna msa atakutana nayo pale, zindio? Later we inspire. 